Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7. We're at episode number 1704, thank you so much for joining me for it. Thank you so much for subscribing to the show too and thank you also to the patrons who help bring this show to you on a daily basis via their support at patreon.com slash sw7x7. So yeah, this just happened to be playing behind me but it's a little bit different because... Give me some sound on this if I can. Well, Falcon crashing in the background. Hang on a second. And for those of you who are just catching the audio version of this, it happens that The Force Awakens is playing in the hotel room that I'm staying at, and it happens that it's in Spanish, which will be explained <laughs> in due course. But that's not why we're actually here for this particular episode. We're here to talk about the last three, maybe, episode descriptions for Star Wars Resistance that have been released. It's a little bit confusing because... The episode that was supposed to be debuting on the season finale night, which was St. Patrick's Day, or which is St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, is only a 30-minute episode. So they are only releasing 21 episodes, at least as far as we know, unless there's another bonus one kicking around that they haven't told us about yet, when they were supposed to do 22, to the best of my knowledge, but... Be that as it may, we have Descent, which is going to be the episode we'll be talking about for Monday's episode of the show. And we'll also be talking about No Escape Part 1 the following week and No Escape Part 2 the week after that. So yeah, the season finale is No Escape. And normally the two parts would be playing on the same night, but in this case they are actually being spread out across two weeks, the 10th and 17th. So, as we know from the last episode of Star Wars Resistance, the First Order has arrived at Yeager's shop and is looking to arrest anyone and everyone. And so the episode description for Descent says that with secrets exposed, Yeager's crew must evade relentless troopers hunting them down and find a way to reach the Resistance. And some of the episode photos that they've released already include the scene that we've seen in the mid-season trailer where Kaz is talking to Leia over a, you know, basically holographic communication, which means that the communications blanket that Yeager and Doza were talking about having to get taken down in the previous episode, well, it seems like that communications blanket has, in fact, been taken down if they're able to reach out to the Resistance and do that. And... Yeah, I know there was a bit of a dodge last week with the Disappeared where characters were being taken uh, by the First Order. They were being arrested and we had seen uh, Tam, uh, Tam, what am I saying? Yeah, Tam, uh, <laughs> being taken in uh, by the First Order in the mid-season trailer. But it seems like it's actually happening this episode because the photos that have been released for the episode far, so far show that happening. And then we get to episode uh, uh, 20, essentially, which will be coming out on the 10th, which is No Escape Part 1. Synopsis that's been shared with us for that says, Kaz, Niku, and Tora devise a plan to free their friends, so that presumes that Tam has been taken, and potentially Yeager, and Doza, and the other aces, and who knows who else. And then it says, but it's upended when Kaz bears witness to the full might of the First Order, and so it seems like that episode, No Escape Part 1, is going to be the episode where we get to see the full overlap for the first time with The Force Awakens, where General Hux is going to give his crazy screed and the Hosnian system is going to get destroyed all over again, just like it was in The Force Awakens, just 
a little bit ago when it was on TV for me. So that is what's happening in episode 20, even though it's episode 121 as it's labeled on a Disney's website, but they skipped the number 13. I don't know if that's a jinx thing or what the deal is with that. And then, of course, there's No Escape 2, and that is going to involve the flooding of the Colossus that we saw in the mid-season trailer. That's the one where the description is, with Niku's help, Kaz comes up with a risky plan to rid the Colossus of the First Order once and for all. Now, with these new three episode announcements and synopses that have been announced, usually when they come out, they announce whether there are going to be any particular guest stars showing up in these episodes. So Oscar Isaac or Gwendolyn Christie or Elijah Wood or Donald Faison. Like those have been the names that have been particularly dropped over the course of the season to let us know that there are going to be special guest voices happening here. And neither, well, none of the three, I can't say neither because that would be only if there were two, but none of the synopses that they gave us had anything to do with uh, guest stars mentioned or anything like that. So, I, you know, <sighs> I hope some of them show up. <laughs> I mean, it seems like, you know, getting Oscar Isaac and Gwendolyn Christie involved in the finale, that seems like a, a you know, like a, a pretty reasonable thing to expect to happen potentially. But, you know, I'm sure they've got their own plans. And hey, the episodes are probably already in the can at this point. And so we are in the final stretch of this thing. And I got to say, there is really kind of a big unanswered, well, there are a lot of big unanswered questions, but, you know, something that was mentioned in the previous episode of Resistance that is apparently going to get addressed in this episode that's coming out later tonight, you know, I don't know how they're going to do it. And it's going to be interesting to see how it's applied. I'll tell you about that in a second. I'll explain it. But first, I just got to say, hey, Hope you're subscribing to the show if you're not already. Hope you will also consider supporting me in bringing this to you on a daily basis via patreon.com slash SW7X7. So the communications blanket, right? This is the thing that is preventing anybody on the Colossus to reach out beyond the First Order and get in touch with the Resistance. But what does a communications blanket actually mean? Like... Is this some equipment that's actually on a First Order ship that's sitting on a landing platform on the Colossus that they have to disable? Is this First Order equipment that they have installed on the Colossus? Or is this something that's actually like orbiting around the planet Castellon? And if so, are they actually going to have to go up in space to destroy this thing to be able to reach out to the Resistance? I don't know. One thing I do know for sure is that the episode tonight, which is again called Descent, is going to be the episode where Kaz loses access to hair product. <laughs> and we'll see whether the Twitterverse gets up you know, in craziness about that because heaven knows when it happened with Agent Callus from Star Wars Rebels, the Twitterverse lost their collective minds and Hot Callus started <laughs> trending as a hashtag. So I guess we're gonna see if it works the same way with Kaz this time around. And that is going to do it for today's episode of the show. Thank you so much for joining me for it as always. And may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. This podcast is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox. It is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other related Star Wars items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited or their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2019 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.